at Colossal, Toyota, and Appleton, looking at what they have available. Primarily, what they have at this slot is demonstrator vehicles, but they have a pretty good selection. I do like the Land Cruiser. Don't like the price of anything, but this is a classic already and it's brand new. But that's because I like it. Maybe you think something different. I force Max. Um, but this is a way to have a selection and be able to have something to try out. And some even have regular plates on them, but it's the uh, demo units. We've got to come to one of the lots that have the demo units to actually have stuff to try out. That way you can compare what you fit in, what you can see out of, and uh, how much you want to spend. They do have some trucks here and some used, but uh, the demo lot's kind of where it's at. Couple Corolla roll across. I think this is kind of reminds me of the Matrix back in the day. Um, so I mean the Matrix, you can have a 20 year old Matrix and it's still running strong. So if you're going to trade that Matrix for a brand new car, I think this is where you end up in the curl across. You know what those Matrix were? Probably like 12 or 15,000. And now to uh, replace it. I mean, yeah, you're getting hybrid and you're getting some other things, but uh, definitely significantly more expensive. And if you don't want all that stuff, it's not really an option. Yeah, demo unit, demo unit. But these are the demo units. But think of how profitable Toyota is, and this is gonna make them even more profitable. They're not gonna have all that inventory sitting on the lot. They're not gonna be forced to discount it. They're not gonna be forced to increase incentives. They can just sit back and wait for the orders. If the orders don't come in, they don't build it. No cost at all. I mean, yeah, they've gotta keep their people doing something. But as near as I can tell, they are very busy because they've uh, really hit the nerve of the American people with these hybrids. All right, let's see what they actually have on their lot, which isn't much other than the demo units. Oh, look, we even have a uh, demo unit there. But then when they're uh, done with them, I'm sure they sell. Well, I got some discounts, like five grand off. Huh, Toyota truck for under 50. That's almost unheard of. Plus seat, center console. Oh, window stickers on the other side. Hard to say if this has miles on it. So on these lots with demo units, you're gonna find new vehicles with some miles on them because they were demos. Yeah, 54 is the window sticker price. Presumably no. And that might be the future deals. See, this one says immediate, available for immediate delivery. So this must be so maybe demo units that are uh, been used for a while, so they're willing to give them up. Graph for adventure. 28 miles to the gallon, 40 grand. I mean, the nice thing about Toyota is uh, you can be fairly confident you can put a couple hundred thousand miles on it. The Corolla hatchback, 26. I mean, that's not horrible, but it's really small for 26. Available for immediate delivery. Maybe they just have to note that which ones are avail available for immediate delivery when you start looking and everything's a, uh, a demo unit. 46 miles to the gallon, 41 grand on the sticker. Hard to find much for sedans. And some Tacomas. 45 on that one. Tiny discount. I always like the dark gray. 46. I mean, that's not bad for 46. I was looking on the Chevy lot. Then you got to get like a work truck, although it's full size. Um, got to get a work truck with like no options to get down on the mid 40s. That's 1794 edition. 70 grand. 
Very nice interior. Notice though that they're just saying available for immediate delivery. They're not uh, putting a sale price on it. Although for the people that say get an accident and have to buy a car, they get two grand for the cross, scroll across. If you have to buy a car, these are nice, so you have a option. Maybe get your insurance money, buy something nice. I don't know why I like the gray truck so much, but I really like the gray truck's pretty fast. Wish that back seat was like a real back seat. Sometimes, I mean, not that my kids ride with me that much, but it does happen. But 45 of that, oh gosh, I mean, over 50 though. Just painful. But you're seeing a discount on Toyota Tundra, which I don't remember that ever being a thing. Made in Texas. More that can be said for a lot of vehicles. Seeing some of those uh, made in Korea Chevrolets and all kinds of crazy places they're making stuff now. 54,000. Forty-five thousand. I don't know. I sold Toyotas a really long time ago. I bet they were like fifteen for a brand new one back then. Amazing how the years tick by and the prices go up. Yeah. But here you go, five grand off a of Toyota, and they've got well, one point nine nine. That might be more useful if you have the money. Even if you have the money, invest in something else and uh, finance it. And then they have their uh, collector Supros. It's talking to somebody at a car show that tried to get in one of those and said he did not fit. And I think I'd feel the same way. I'm a little more of a full size sort of guy. That's why I like the back seat in some of these smaller trucks. Seems kind of useless. Leaving up a forerunner. Is this new? 2500 discount, 2024. Forerunners seem hard to come by. Assembled in Japan, this should be a solid one. Colossal Toyota. SR5. engine do they put in these things now? Oh, four by two, this is two wheel drive. I would not have guessed, I didn't realize I made four runners in two wheel drive. Should they call it a two runner? All right, definitely not interested in two wheel drive. Oh, this is the crown. Can't get over those headlights, like, it looks like the old Prius to me. Those little short headlights. This kind of looks like a Buick wagon or something. Demo units, Crown and Signa, 46,000. Just really bad on $40,000 price tag, start looking reasonable. 52, wow. Oh, they're a little electric daily walk. I don't know. I've just seen some nightmare scenarios and trying to charge these on the road, like apparently if you or home every day, it's not horrible. But if you gotta go somewhere, not so much fun. Apparently Tesla wins on the uh, road trip challenge every time. I'm sure there's uh, some other options out there. Ah, uh, there's obviously more expensive options. Yeah, another demo unit, not for sale. Camry XSE. So they've got this one as a demo unit and there was one, yeah, straight across. That says available for immediate sale. Ooh, Crown Platinum. Only 30 miles to go, 53 grand. All I can say is drive these things for 20 years and 300,000 miles if you're gonna spend that much money. Available for immediate delivery. Very white, white, white. 46. Four by four at least. Ice capped, Baja, Mexico. Yeah, I really wonder if the Tacomas made in Mexico are any better or worse than the Tacomas that were made in Texas. 
I just see so much where it seems like plant and assembly makes a difference. All right, but that's basically what we have at uh, Colossal Toyota in Appleton. Uh, definitely a way to get what you need because they have the demo units, but uh, might not be able to get it right away. Thanks.